YouTube, what's up, guys? Today I want to talk about near close flex, near flex close, whatever this offense is called. I've been told every time I play against it in a weekend league that it's taken uh, Mutt by storm. This is one of the best offenses in Mutt right now that you guys run into every other day or pretty much every other game. And, uh, and a lot of people have been telling me during my stream, which you guys can watch live, twitch.tv slash dub. That link is below. You can click it. Also, follow me on the social medias for all updates when I'm streaming, when new YouTube content is dropped, when new TikTok content is dropped. All my links are below, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything. Make sure you guys follow, see all the highlights, see all the tips, everything. But uh, today I want to talk about Near Flex Close because um, it's an offense that, you know, I never really labbed for. But uh, just the process of playing so many games, uh, I've found a great way to contain it and the way that I like to use to contain it. And I'm going to show you guys that just so you're not running into this because I know uh, playing Madden, you guys that are still playing Weekend League and still playing Mutt this far are really Madden heads and you guys can appreciate some good defense and, and don't want to run into the same offense and getting beat by the same offense all the time. Now, to understand, to stop an offense really is to understand it you know you have to think what is this person trying to do what is their goal what are they setting out to do when they call a play do they want to run the ball do they want to throw deep do they want to get the ball into one of their playmakers hands you have to think like the offensive player and i'll tell you most people can't pass you know i can barely pass anymore man and and most people really can't pass so the notion that uh all right. what makes passing good essentially is rolling out because once you roll out the defense all of a sudden is, is just terrible you know that's pretty much how it goes uh the defense just forgets about zone, wide receivers zones run all over the place zones just pretty much stop playing if, if you understand like i know you guys have played it once people roll out roll out corners pretty much are the best you know passing concept in the game this year and that's what makes this near close flex, near flex close, whatever, is so good because it is the easiest formation to roll out with. You know, there's really not anything you can do to kind of stop them from rolling out because the running backs are so close to the line of scrimmage and they'll cut block. You guys know the running back cut blocks. I've talked about that in many videos. And the running backs are so close that they'll cut quicker, faster, allow the rollout to be even easier. So... Uh, now it's under center. You can blitz the hell out of it. But one thing I always liked uh, that happens all the time, or in Madden in general, I, I'm the type of person, uh, most of the time, get people to feel comfortable, you know, and use those blitzes when you, when you need them, not every down. I feel like once you blitz every single down, you kind of get people into that tempo that you're going to blitz every down, you know, and I think the, the reverse works better. This year, may be wrong because of how good blitzing seven and eight people is and i've run that a lot too early in the year with the, the three four odd uh pinch and everything but naturally in my 15 years of playing madden i like to play a little more coverage a little more passive and then blitz when i get to big third downs big fourth downs and i'll show you guys how i do that against near close uh and let's go ahead and get into the game the gameplay and I'll tell you, normally if you guys watch me play, I like to use, I'm with the Cleveland Browns right here, I like to use edge blitz, right? I like to use this for run defense. So naturally I would come out in this, you know what, near close flex. Here it is, right? Naturally I would come out in this. My run defense, because the fullback dive is a pain in the ass a little bit. But the more I realize it, the more I understand the fullback dive is really not hurting you in this formation. It doesn't hurt me. I don't know about you guys, but that's not the problem with this formation. Uh, but the one thing about this defense, right, um, is that, like I said, he'll cut block that right outside linebacker. Normally I do this, I contain against, and it's great run defense, probably the best run defense in the game for me. Uh, that's also good pass defense. Now, 3 through 5 wide is great, run, is the best run defense. If you guys are watching the man bowl, it is the best. But this... I feel like it's better because it's good pass defense. It's hard to pass against this from under center. That's why I like to run this against near flex close. Now, the problem with this that you'll run into, one, you're in man coverage. Most of the time they have the tight end on a route cam, so you can't cover him in man. You can't cover the corner route in man. You can't cover the post routes they put in man. So essentially what I, I found myself doing when I run this is pretty much doing this, something along these lines. So it's just cover three. 
you know, because the man coverage really isn't going to cover anybody. And it's hard to press these dudes and everything. So for that reason, I've given up on edge blitz. You know, I still run the same concept, but I run it out of this will buck will buck three press. I still run this. All right. Just because I tired, I didn't want to waste time putting all those guys in zones every time. Right. So we still do the same thing. Boom. Now we're set up, though. You know, right like that. Now, I will tell you, the key to this, what I have in Mutt, is I have Night Train Lane as safety, four abilities. He's a 99 overall with Lurker and Universal Coverage. And I have Calvin Johnson, Golden Ticket, who is the one must-have Golden Ticket with a gold, with a Lurker and Universal as well. So I switch off on who I use or on my safeties like that. Now, obviously, you want to put the other safety in the blue. So you pretty much have full reign. Now, the third ability is key in defending this, and that is... Um, Miles Garrett at D-Tackle. Whatever D-Tackle you guys like, I think Miles Garrett is a golden ticket because he has four abilities and he has 91 speed or something, plays D-Tackle, so I put him at D-Tackle. So because we're blitzing this many people, right, normally because we're blitzing this many people, I put Miles Garrett here and he'll get a one-on-one -on -one and almost he'll shed the center and almost beat the free rushers to the quarterback. And that's why I think these those three abilities are the ones you want to use on defense. Now, Obviously, we talked about how this would get cut blocked and he could roll out. So what I do to stop getting cut blocked is this guy right here, he goes in his zone. Boom. Cloud flat. Or purple, whatever you may be. I think the cloud flat runs out there faster. Uh, people always ask me the difference, and I tell them I don't know. But a cloud flat will get out there. He won't mess around. He won't bump people. He'll try to run as fast as he might. Now, he won't cover the corner route. He will cover the corner route if you keep the quarterback in the pocket. That's the key. That's why I love getting my middle linebacker on a contain. It's not going to work all the time because the game's the game's just broken. It's just not good. I, it's just you guys know it won't work all the time, but it does a better job of containing the quarterback in the pocket than if this outside linebacker was in a contain. Now, what I also have been doing lately is putting this guy in a spy. I know it's a lot, but once you get used to doing these adjustments, that's one of the reasons I get I started coming out and. 3-4, the cover 3 rather than edge blitz because I didn't want to waste time putting adjustments on my DBs. I wanted to just go, and that's what it's about. Now, the other side, uh, the other side, you can blitz, add extra pressure. Uh, I, I rarely see people rolling out to this side. If it happens, you know, you can just do the same thing like this, mix it up. Sometimes, I, like I said, I'll do that. Even, even do something like this, you know, where you're really rushing two contains and one power specialist or one pass rush elite and a spy. You know, at this time of the year, everybody, your DNs right here should be, I think my DNs are Von Miller and Lawrence Taylor or Von Miller and Khalil Mack, something like that, whatever it may be, and your outside linebackers are, uh, you know, Clowney or um, Clowney and who else? Lawrence Taylor, Clowney, Khalil Mack, uh, Von Miller. Those, th those are the four best, like, linebacker pass rushers. I also use Isaiah Simmons because he's so fast. Now, with that being said, when I run this type of defense, I have Deion Jones. And Deion Jones has 95 zone or whatever. I would put him at outside linebacker and then put Clowney or Mars Taylor at middle linebacker since they're kind of pass rushing and you want the better zone guys out here. But this is the basic setup that I like to use. Like I said, if he's getting too comfortable, uh, I, I'll, I'll go back to this. But the biggest thing is that this running back side, this outside linebacker can't be any contained or you'll get rolled out on every other play. Now, he can still roll out on this guy. But because he's this far back, he'll, he'll take a wide angle on the contain, and it'll take him a little bit longer if he wants to roll out. And what happens when that, if he sits in the pocket a little bit longer, your pass rush elite, your your ta your D tackle will do a great job uh, getting home. Now, this is something I run, I would I would tell you guys, probably about 80, 90% of the time against this defense, uh, against this offense, I mean. But when I, get to, when I get somebody to a fourth down, or I get somebody uh, to a, you know, to, to fourth down, third and eight, something like that, you'll do something like this. You know, where we're now blitzing the corner because this is just compressed, you know. Now, obviously, what happens is if he knows you're going to do this, he'll motion out. He'll, he'll you know, make you pay for putting the corner there. But if you sit there in that cover three, rush three and four or five people every time, and all of a sudden you need to – you know, really send the dogs at him on a fourth down or something, he's not going to be ready for it, you know. And, it, and he'll get a cut block, maybe roll out, but there's so many people coming after him. 
even the computer. I know. I, I'll tell you this right now, chat. Have you guys ever sacked the computer in practice mode? I, I don't know if I've ever done that before. You know, normally they get the ball off, but just so many people. And this, I mean, you hate to see this over here, though. I don't even want to talk about defenders have no footing in this game. That's a topic for another time. Maybe a topic for the podcast on Tuesdays, but defenders literally have no footing. Like, that, that, that just pissed me off watching that. But you see how many people were sending. You got to make a split decision. And, and since you've been sending, you know, four and five and giving him a little bit of time every play, maybe he won't be ready for that. And boom, you get a sack when you need it on fourth down, third down, something like that. But I'm going to just go ahead, give you guys some gameplay highlights, just three or four plays. I played somebody recently on Weekend League running this, and I'll show you guys pretty much just how it works. All right, so we play this game. We're playing the Dolphins. You see here, we got a nice little second and three. Actually has a lead on me, but tries to get out to the left. And that middle linebacker who I have, Patrick Willis, doesn't let him get outside. That's the point of the middle line. You see it there again. Running backside, can't get out to the right, can't get out to the left, gets sacked right there by Patrick Willis again, who I still think is one of the best middle linebackers in the game. Same thing, can't roll out to the left. There's Miles Garrett. Just give him a little bit more time. Let your pass rush elite get home. Uh, same setup at pretty much every play. Uh, well, we got second and 10 right here. Same thing, two purple zones. Both my middle linebackers are contained. I have the whole middle of the field. Any post route, any hitch. Once again, he cannot get outside. That's Deion Jones on the contain, making the play. And here we go, third and 16. Just an example of how I love to mix it up. While he's been thinking I've been playing coverage all day, I've been only rushing three and four. Third and 16, fourth, fourth quarter right here, four minutes left. I have the whole left side right here on the lurk. Boom, but we send everybody. Try He gets a cut block, but just cannot get away from Lawrence Taylor. Has to throw a ball away, force a huge fourth down. So just looking at those highlights, man, if you don't let him get out of the pocket, your pass rush elite is going to be dominant. And the last thing I want to add to this, that if you, if you really find yourself still can't keep him in the pocket, because I'm not going to tell you this works all the time, but for me, it has been the best success I've had against this. I'll take you a look. Let's take a look at the film or take a look at the play. Or we'll go back on the field, I mean. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's the user rush. Now, you know which way he wants to roll out. They want to roll out to the corner route. And uh, it's not going to be a good example because I'm just playing the computer right here. But what I do when it's time for user rush, right, is to blitz my user. Essentially, you will become the contain yourself. You would blitz your user and then rush over here. And then once you get into the clear one-on-one, -on -one, I just click off. Because I'll be honest, listen. I'm a professional man player. I don't have the user to tackle Lamar Jackson in the open field. Also, it's not worth the risk to try to do it yourself. The computer does a great job if you click off. They do. So, I mean, as much as, listen, sometimes you got to tuck your pride between your legs and realize, let me let the computer do this. I'll try to do this here, but it's not going to work that well because Lamar is going to get rid of the ball. But go over here. Oh, there we see. We get, we get a sack right there. But... Just click off, put your put yourself in a, a, a blitz angle so you can get the quarterback. Anything else, if you put if you leave yourself in a deep blue, if you leave yourself in a spy, if you leave yourself in a purple zone, manned up, you will once you click off, your defender will run and do whatever assignment you had him in. That's why if I'm thinking about user rushing, if I'm thinking about being the contain myself, then I want to make sure that I uh, keep myself in a blitz angle and click off and let the computer go get him. So those are the things I do to control near flex close uh the key to stopping I, even with bunch or tight offset whatever it be stop letting them roll out don't make it easy for them to cut block you uh th that's the key you know it's not about covering the routes because you can't cover the routes if they get out of the pocket you have to accept that you can cover the routes if they're in the pocket one million percent of the time but if you step outside the pocket that's when you can no longer cover the routes uh, so the key when you're in pass defense against this is to just don't let them get outside the pocket. Now, either you can do the setup I ran, which works very, very well for me, as you see from the videos and you see from watching me play all the time live. But if you're not, if you're not having any success with that, get that user rush down and mix in that blitz everybody. Keep them uncomfortable. And like I said about the run, man, I pretty much I have enforcer on my safeties that I use her. So just get up there, just clog the middle. You have Miles Garrett in the middle. I feel like the run sucks. Out of that, I honestly feel like, and we watch them. I feel like the run sucks overall. You know, I don't think it's good. I just think it's hard for, to score otherwise. You know, I think it's harder to score passing. That's all. So people run. So it feels, you know, it feels like it's really good. But I, I don't think the run is that good. 
Uh, so don't flame me for that. Like I said, follow the socials, follow the Twitch so you guys can watch me implement this live and add this defense to your game. And it'll help take you to the next level and win all those weekend league games against the near close flex virgins.